Rebel Incorporated Escalation is a game about people and war. However, after we're done here, there won't be many people left. From the creators of Plague Inc., this is a real-time strategy game that involves UN peacekeepers, Bashar al-Assad, the Afghan army, and the disgruntled locals of the Middle East. Scramble your jets, deploy your troops, assign your engineers, and remember, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Rebel Inc. Escalation is a game about people and war. You and your team are the new governors of this war-torn region and you must rebuild it. As governor, in the palm of your hands, you possess the necessary material and human resources to turn this place from a crater to a prettier crater. There is one thing stopping you though, and that is money. You receive an amount of funding each month, and that funding isn't much. Three dollar reduce, in fact. There are two other factors, however, inflation. The more money you spend on initiatives, the more inflation grows. And the larger the inflation, the more pricey the policies get. Social credit deducted. The other factor is corruption. In the backdrop of a freshly bombed region, people are desperate. And powerful people are even more desperate for more power. Corruption is an absolute nightmare. If you don't handle corruption, it will run rampant and paralyze your operations. And no, you can't work with your corruptors. So spend your money on some anti-corruption initiatives. As a foreigner ruling this destroyed land, the locals may not be too keen to find a pasty white man running the show. So there will be stiff opposition to your regime and you must be prepared. Meet the insurgents. These are disgruntled locals that want you and your team out of their homeland. They see you as another invasion, a parasite that wants to take over and enslave them. So act like one and exterminate them. You will receive reports on insurgent activities in a remote area of the region and you will gain access to military initiatives. Initially, you can only call in coalition forces, men and women in blue hats that come from overseas to protect you and your assets. They are practically UN peacekeepers and they are not liked by the locals. You can span on some more initiatives such as an interpreter in every unit and civil support to make the coalition forces help in developing area. This will help in keeping up your reputation. Oh, did I mention that reputation is everything? Hearts and minds, if the people find you unpopular, you will be ousted. So keep an eye on your support and reputation level because if it's rapidly decreasing, you're doing something wrong. Anyways, use the soldiers at your disposal to keep the insurgents at bay. After you've received your first unit of UN peacekeepers, you can begin training national soldiers. These are locals that have volunteered to become a part of the new national army. They have no issues or qualms with the locals, but are significantly weaker than the UN peacekeepers in fighting power. To make them more useful, buy them better equipment and upgrade your logistics by giving them trucks. An army marches on its stomach, after all. Insurgents will keep on coming, and while they don't have a centralized system, insurgent camps do exist, but they are deep in enemy territory and are hidden from our eyes on the ground. So how can we decisively destroy them? The answer is air power. Spend money on getting a reconnaissance drone and it will scout out the region to find an insurgent camp. But finding it is one thing, destroying it is another. Deploy a jet on a strike mission and bomb that son of a bitch to kingdom come. After it's done its run, there will be nothing but bodies. Careful though, some of those bodies might have been civilians. Spend on some more precision munitions to prevent collateral damage, but you can only do so much. What's done is done, and you must choose how to act when confronted about your little incident. Now that you know what you are working with, it's time to know how you can defeat this insurgency. There are two ways to approach it. One is bloodier than the last. You can bring the insurgents to the negotiating table and talk with them, see their terms and what your desires are. You can be stalwart and just not concede anything to the insurgents, take all their weapons, imprison their leaders, not pull out international forces, and don't give them a voice in politics. I mean, come on, these guys are terrorists. Every region they control, they ruin every facility we ever built. The other method is the American way of handling things. Guns, guns, and guns. Every solution to a problem is a gun, and if that don't work, use more guns. 
You get it by now. Divide and conquer the terrorists and back them into a corner, leaving them no chance of escape. And once you've got them in a corner, pounce and beat them up with their lunch money. American freedom, baby. Spreading it around, one Arab at a time. This is the more difficult one to achieve because as the insurgents become more and more desperate, they will become more aggressive. I mean, you can just withdraw of your coalition forces and leave the ill-trained, poorly equipped national army to handle the insurgents on their own. I'm sure that won't be a cause for disaster. There are a myriad of regions to play god on, some with unique mechanics to them. One notable region is the one with a dam on it, and it is in a state of disrepair. Repair it quickly or have it flood the area. You can also play with different governors with different advisors. You can have a trained monkey in your ranks, and that is special. These governors have their own traits, and the advisors have their own buffs. With them, Form a strategy to solve a particularly troublesome run you've been having if the military option isn't viable. Additionally, you have three, perhaps four difficulties to choose. You have normal, hard, and brutal. As you may have already guessed, each is harder than the last, but you haven't seen anything yet, son. If you're a masochistic little boy, then may I suggest Mega Brutal? The insurgents have exoskeletons and advanced weaponry, appear from buttfuck nowhere, and inflation and corruption build up so fast it makes you think you're going through the Great Depression. This difficulty is the definition of cock crushing and ball busting torture. If you pass this, good job. Rebel Ink Escalation is an awesome game with awesome mechanics with great ideas for roleplay and storytelling. It's a good game, 8 out of 10. I recommend it to everyone, especially ones that have played Plague Inc. because this game is made by the same developers, have the same, have nearly the same visuals, and have nearly the same sort of gameplay loop. I recommend it to everyone. I hope you've enjoyed my insane rambling so far. I'll see you all next time. Well, no point staying here. Let's see what this cave has in store for me.